and welcome. Look at who I have here, y'all. Isn't this wonderful? Look, they're used to seeing me by myself sometimes. So <laughs> I have tonight Dr. Richard Alston, who is an orthodontist. This, this is Richard. I, you can probably figure that out. Um, he's an orthodontist here in town. He's a wonderful orthodontist. He's taking care of my granddaughter. So, you know, I have to put that little push in and um, he's got several of his staff members and we'll meet them in just a minute but I just wanted to welcome you all to here's to your good health I'm so glad you're with us we are live tonight so give us a call four four three no four zero seven one 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 that's four zero seven one 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 so Dr. Alston welcome thank so you glad to have you I'm here glad to be here so tell me what made you decide you wanted to work in orthodontics oh my gosh um, well, I decided I wanted to be a dentist a long time ago, mm -hmm. and it was because I had a very good family dentist. And I went to the dentist so many times, I had so many cavities, I had practically all the operations memorized by the time I was in dental school. <laughs> I, could, I can even remember the, the smells of things before he filled the tooth, and that was the happy part of the appointment because I knew I was getting out. But he was a, he was a great role model, and uh, my parents were friends of his and, and encouraged me to seek that out. Mm -hmm. uh, the alternatives were either be a Methodist preacher or a musician, and I thought the ministry was... <laughs> Dentistry was a better way to go. Um, I, I did my undergraduate work at NC State, oh, okay. which has a very fine pre-med, pre-dent curriculum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I went to dental school at North Carolina. And spent, yeah, spent four years at UNC. Um, and as a state fan, that was a long four years. <laughs> but it happens to be one of the best dental schools in the country. Is it really still? Oh, ab absolutely still awesome. is uh, to this day. And I might uh, mention, uh, we have ladies on, on the set. There's an awful lot of women dentists these days. In mm -hmm. fact, they're graduating more females than males in dentistry now. Mm -hmm. So it's a career field that's really good for everybody. That's right. But uh, because I didn't have very much money, I um, took a scholarship with the U.S. Air Force. Okay. And I spent four years, um, uh, really a free ride to dental school, which is a nice thing. But then I owed the Air Force four years. And right. while I was paying back, I got interested in specialty training. Okay. And the curious thing is I was stationed remotely in the Atlantic Ocean in the Azores in a little archipelago of islands mm -hmm. about 900 miles off of Portugal mm -hmm. and I was the only dentist. Oh. And some patients would come in with braces and an orthodontist would fly out to visit and I would take care of them interim between his visits. Gotcha. And so I got on the job training and became interested and then I applied for and the Air Force sent me back for specialty training. Great. So yeah, awesome. and I went to St. Louis University, which is one of the finer mm -hmm. orthodontic yes, programs in the nation. Mm -hmm. And then, when I got out, I came back to this area and bought a practice in Tarboro back in 1990. Oh really? Yes, ma'am. Are you still practicing there as well? I closed that office. Uh, gosh, it's been over 10 years ago. Okay. I I practiced there. Then I opened the office in Rocky Mount. Mm -hmm. And when I became uh, busier in Rocky Mount, it just became prudent to close the Tarver right, office. Right. Plus, I wanted Fridays off. That's the goal of all dentists. <laughs> that's the goal of anybody in any profession. Exactly. <laughs> if, if, you know, if you know the young dentists, they always work extra hours, stay late, offer Saturday hours, and after they've been in practice a while, they pretty much go Monday through Thursday. Yeah, probably because they have all those, those um, college well, fees to oh pay. My gosh. So we can talk about, loans. talk about debt later, but on yeah. a different show. Yeah, that's <laughs> right, that's right, that's it exactly. So are you a uh, North Carolina native? Absolutely, born in Greensboro, NC State graduate, Tar Heel Dental School, and, and came right back. And I um, uh, spent an awful lot of time in Raleigh. Uh, to me, Rocky Mount's a great town to raise a family. Yes, yes. And if people complain about not enough to do, I can show you exactly how in 45 minutes you can be in the center of the universe in Raleigh. It's a it's mm -hmm. a good place yes, to right. live, yeah. and I've, I've been here for years and raised three children in this mm -hmm. town, and um, mm -hmm. and think an awful lot of it. Yeah, I do too, and I think that it is now the city on the rise. I think there's some good things happening, uh, and I'm excited. About I it. hope so. I do. When I come to this um, studio, I drive through the little mill village, you know, right. and I saw I'm seeing it I love the progressing of that, yeah. and, and all of that. But anyway, we'll get off of that. And so, <laughs> so tell me, do I have to have a referral to you? Can I just call and make an appointment? Uh, absolutely. Now, typically, the American Association of Orthodontists has a, a blanket recommendation that children should be seen at seven. Okay. In other words, the dentists know this, 
and typically a referral is done at age seven so that we can intercept any budding problems. Now, most children don't get the braces yeah. on at seven, obviously, right, right. but we can intercept, see things coming, mm -hmm. and then it's a good time to let the parents know what's coming. Right. And the dentists do a very good job of educating these patients. Right. When they come in, they usually know what they're going to hear. Mm -hmm. And then, but as far as an adult or someone um, that, that you don't have to have a referral. Now, if you come to us and you do dental work, we're going to refer you back to a dentist because 99% right. of the time, the dentistry the restorative work, the cleanings, filling teeth, has to be done before braces go on. Right. So it doesn't matter how you get to us, we're going to see that you right. have the proper care taken before you get yes. into braces. And I know, um, I'll just talk about my granddaughter Phoebe because that's the only one I know, but she had a lot, of, she has a real small mouth and she had a lot of teeth and she had seven or eight pulled. I mean, she really, you know, and, and she of course did all that with her dentist and I think sure. she would see you periodically. That's and, right. And, um, but now she's looking great. Oh, oh that's yeah. That's a pretty smile, I tell you. I can't wait till they come on. Well, off, I can't either. And, that, and the best thing is when you have a pretty girl like Phoebe and then you straighten her teeth, you take yes. credit for the whole product. Of course, <laughs> of course. Her mom and dad had nothing to do with it. Exactly. I remind, I remind all them. All that smile, that's all right. that smile. Yeah, that's right. So now we've got two ladies here. I'll let you introduce them and tell me what their well, Deal is. this is Andy, and Hi, she's Andy. responsible for us being here. She's oh. our bubbly, cheerful, goodwill ambassador and our receptionist and appointment coordinator. Awesome. So when you call our office, this is the voice on the phone. Mm -hmm. And as it turns out, she's absolutely perfectly suited because she's service and people oriented. She always tries to make the person on the phone feel like they're in the right place. That's awesome. Good for you, Andy. Heather is our yes. treatment coordinator. Uh -huh. She wears two hats. She's treatment coordinator and she's in charge of the new patient experience. When someone comes into our office new, they're greeted and they're taken through a certain protocol when they're seen. They're given a tour of the office and we usually take some radiographs and pictures and she's in charge of getting these patients through the gate and to see me, mm -hmm. both fluidly and professionally. And then she wears the other hat <laughs> um, which is the financial coordinator. Oh boy. Exactly. Yeah. She's the one that sets up the payment plans uh -huh. and may be calling you if you're behind on Phoebe's payment. Oh yeah. <laughs> that would be her mother. You're in good standing. Huh? <laughs> I did three kids. She, she's on her own That's for that right. one. <laughs> so um, it takes a lot to, to run your office, doesn't it? Oh, a lot of, lot of personnel. It, it does and I think um, when you're a solo practitioner like me, you're not only straightening teeth, but you're in charge of staffing and payroll and scheduling. But when you have people that will help you do that, yeah. it makes it much easier. Yeah. But you're correct. We have receptionists, mm -hmm. we have two treatment coordinators, and we have three chair side assistants. And as most of the patients can tell you, a lot of the work is delegated. They do what I do with my supervision. So mm -hmm. they're very highly trained. Yes. And they're good, good hands, good mm -hmm. eyes, much mm -hmm. better than the old guy. <laughs> so I like to delegate as much as I can right, to them because right. they're very good chair side. What? Oh, go ahead. No. I was just wondering what kind of training. Do you do all the training? Do they have, you know, is there a dental orthodontist training in a community college? Well. I don't know. No, exactly. And, and uh, most, most of ours is on the job training. But let me tell you one of the things that we've done that has really worked out nicely. We're in partnership with the school system. And we take awesome. an apprentice from the high school every oh. year, a high school, Great. and it's always been a girl, but a high school girl has come over mm -hmm. for the last eight or nine years, mm -hmm. and we pay them, and we train them, and they get school credit, and believe it or not, by the time they're six months in, by their spring semester, they are productive, mm -hmm. Wow. and they're professional, and they're trained well enough that I feel confident enough in them. So. That's one way to go. And yes, there are some dental assisting schools mm -hmm. that are more related to dental assisting. There's really not a specific ortho training, pro assistant okay. training program. Mm -hmm. so that's and orthodontics is, is kind of a specialty to the assistants too. I like to think that the assistants would rather work with me than a general dentist. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. And yeah. it, I, we, I, Absolutely we, agree. We think, we think it's more fun. 
Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Nothing against the guys out well, there. They're filling teeth. But, you know, but we who like, wants to give Novocaine in the gum and fill a tooth? I mean, yeah. you know. And, and <laughs> now, now's the real reason why I'm an orthodontist. Uh -huh. okay? That's it. It's <laughs> coming, so they can, don't cry. You, you basically, <laughs> they're glad to see yeah, you. They're glad to see me, and it's nicer to do one thing and become a master of it. Right. Now, there are some brilliant guys in this community that are terrific general dentists, and I not demeaning them, them, but I'm telling you to be able to do the same thing day after day, you actually become pretty good at it. Yeah, 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 that's right. But, you know, it, that's why they call it a practice. It, it is. And, you know, the other thing is I treated um, Heather's children, so I knew yeah. what kind of mom I was getting. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Was yeah. that before she went to work for you? Yes. Exactly. Lexi got her braces off six months I think before uh, I came on board. Oh, okay. So. And awesome. if your cameraman ever comes back we can get a zoom in on her teeth because uh -huh. she's under treatment right now. I see yeah. that. And okay. those are the cleanest teeth right. I've ever seen. Right. Lee are you back there? <laughs> Uh, now, Andy, are you going to talk about these props, or is Dr. Austin going to talk about these? Dr. Austin or the chair side assistants can. Okay. Um, if anyone has questions about personal, how, you know, right. about braces, I could probably answer them, but the chair side assistants would probably be okay. best okay. to okay. talk about those. Sure, right. no, I can go. Whatever, whatever you want me to do, you know I can talk. <laughs> <laughs> can we do a, a um, shot on her mouth? Close up, not mine. Andy's. Andy's. <laughs> Just because Andy. she's got really, yeah, because you really can't see them there in the picture. Big smile, Andy. and they're clear. So uh -huh. if you don't want them to show as much, Can there you go. Oh yeah, that's there Andy. Is. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. So if anybody out there is is a patient of Dr. Alston's, or if you um, have a question about orthodontics, give us a call 407-1111. 407-1111. So um, tell us a little bit about the financial part of it. It's expensive. Everything's expensive. Nothing's yes, but anymore. we do offer um, interest-free three plans. Oh, okay. um, and we do have some flexibility. So I always tell people, come for the consultation. It's free. Um, I can check your insurance. If you think you don't have orthodontic insurance, maybe I can pleasantly surprise you. And maybe you do. Um, we accept Delta. We are in network with Delta, but any other plan I can file for you. You don't have to. I take all that work you out for that. you. Yeah. Okay. Well, here's a call. So, Let's see what these people have got to say. All right. Hey there. This is Linda and Dr. Alston and crew. How are you? Good. How are you? Great. Thanks. What's up? I have a question okay. for the show on Channel 4. Channel. Okay. Close enough. What's your question, Shug? Will the future of braces ever change? Ah, you question. mean is it going to be? What do you mean by change? Um, easier the of putting them on and keeping them on. Will it ever change? Just to speed up the process. Okay. All right. Good we'll question. let Dr. Olson address that. Thanks for calling. Well, I, I don't have my crystal ball, but let me let me <laughs> let me go back and tell you that when I first started doing this, we fitted metallic bands around every tooth, and there wasn't a child that could sit through that and not walk out crying. And now, I, I mean, well, not now, but about 15 years ago, the process of putting braces on took about four hours because we had to wait for cements to set up, mm -hmm. and now we can seat a patient in our chair at 8:30 and they're up and walking out the door at 10, 15. Oh, We're not yeah. cutting corners, it's mm -hmm. just one, it's already easier. Two, bonding. The, mm -hmm. the process of gluing the braces to the teeth is very sophisticated, and the arch wires that we use now mean that the appointment frequency is good. But to answer her question, the future is now with Invisalign. Ah. That entire process is something that has just about revolutionized orthodontics, because they're not braces, they're invisible aligners that move teeth almost, and I say almost, in most cases as efficiently as braces. Really? And But as far as what's coming down the line, there's always things that are attempts to speed up braces. Some of them are on the fringe and some of them are proprietary, but that's what we're always seeking to do too. Sure. And I think a lot of the things that have happened is we've been able to treat more cases without removing teeth. Now, Phoebe's an exception. Yes, yeah, <laughs> No, and, and every sense. <laughs> well, you still have to take out teeth when there's simply not enough room. Mm -hmm. 
Right. But in borderline cases, we can more effectively treat them non-extraction now, which does make the case go a little faster. But I wish I could answer her question because the, the future is exactly what she's talking about, to try to make it easier, quicker, mm -hmm. and less mm -hmm. uncomfortable for the patient. Mm -hmm. And they still have all those wires. I know that my kids and the wires used to get broke and then they'd have to yeah. run them in and they'd have to put wax on them. Yeah. You still do all that? Well, we still do, but again, it's not quite as onerous as it used to be. Now, instead of all those little tie wires, we have little rubber elastics. Oh, and okay. we, can, we can show you after the breaker when we switch. I'll have some yeah. of the assistants okay. right. point out the clear braces, the metal braces, and the aligners. Awesome. My son was one of the last ones to wear headgear for Dr. Alston. I kept that oh, picture. No more headgear. No more headgear. Uh, yeah, believe it. Or, yeah, believe it or not, I, I was oh, doing man. the old. Yeah. I, I was doing the old spring cleaning in the office, and I opened the drawer, and I thought, "What is this?" <laughs> and it's it's a headgear, and it's I've got them in three different sizes, and I thought, "My gosh, I don't think I'll ever use one again." And is now, that because of the invisible uh, Well, for uh, it, two reasons. One is sadly that her son might be the last one kid alive that will wear it. <laughs> In other words, it's simply not something. And, and it's a different generation. Kids and parents aren't real keen about making their child wear a headgear. Right. But we have developed other ways to skin that cat. That's awesome. So the headgear really isn't, isn't, isn't a necessity. Just like everything else, we progress beyond the headgear right, at this point. Right, right. And how old's your son? Uh, he's 18 and a half. Oh, okay. So you know, that half in there. Big strapping, <laughs> big strapping, <laughs> yeah. good looking kid plays soccer. Of course. Yep. Soccer's awesome. I love soccer. But it was great to have to hold over his head, you know. <laughs> Be nice. Put it in your sheen or your book. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't do that anymore. That's right. Well, we're almost, we're about one minute out from our break, so we're going to go ahead and break now, Lee. And we'll be back in just a few minutes with here's with more of Here's Your Good Health. Don't go away. We'll be back with Dr. Alston and crew. Hang on. See you in a minute. Since 1976, Home Health Care Supplies has been making life easier and better for you and your family. We carry a large selection of mobility aids to help you stay as active as you feel. Rolling walkers, hospital beds, wheelchairs, and bedside commodes designed to simplify your daily life. We have scooters and power wheelchairs and can install lifts for easy transportation. We have many solutions to help you, like our professional grade orthopedics and juxta light wraps, the perfect alternative to compression stockings, and peace of mind at home or away. With medical alert, help at the push of a button and a natural drug-free erectile dysfunction treatment with a 98% success rate and results in as little as five minutes. We can help you with diabetes management and our certified fitters will aid you with customized therapeutic footwear. We carry a great selection of post mastectomy bras and breast forms and our caring fitters will help you with all of your needs. Does Medicare or the Affordable Care Act have you asking questions? We have experts trained to provide you with the most up-to-date information. Call today and learn how you can save hundreds of dollars a year on your Medicare supplement and learn about different drug plans. With over 45 years of experience, come see why we are the Twin County's best home health care destination. Home health care supplies. A better life for you, guaranteed. Call us today, 937-7006. You don't have to live with the pain and discomfort of carpal tunnel. Dr. Bloom and his orthopedic team can diagnose and treat you with a non-invasive surgical procedure that reduces recovery time. Randy Stewart is here for free carpal tunnel screenings to help you better understand the problems you may be having and how Dr. Bloom can help you. We are your family's orthopedic doctor, and we can see you today. Call to set up your free screening at 937-2663, Bloom Orthopedic Center at 3101 Zebulon Road in Rocky Mount. Hi, I'm Richard Koss, pharmacy manager at Almond's Drugstore at the West Ridge Shopping Center. Here with my wife, daughters, and my business partner, Brad Hilton, and his wife, Katie. We are delighted to be new business owners living in Rocky Mount and are excited about the new services and products we are adding at Almond's Drug Store's two locations. With a full-service pharmacy, a large supply of over-the-counter supplements, and a comprehensive line of diabetic supplies, Almond's has you covered. Our pharmacists also specialize in consultations. We want you to pay the lowest prices and get the best service in town, and our staff works hard to help you save money but we are also big on friendliness and customer care. We will deliver your prescriptions free, have drive through windows, and guarantee short wait times. And we come out to greet you personally and see how we can answer all of your questions. Because as local business owners, we care about you. 
As a loyal member of your community for over 70 years, you can count on Almond's Drugs to make the health of you and your family our top priority. Please call Almond's Drugs today. 443-3138. Hey there, welcome back. This is Here's to Your Good Health. My name is Linda Prezioso. I'm a nurse practitioner at Rocky Mount Family Medical Center. Tonight we have Dr. Richard Alston. I believe he called himself Rich, is that yeah, correct? Yeah, that's fine. Rich Alston, and um, we have more crew. We had two in the first segment. We've got two more tonight, so Dr. Alston, if you will introduce these ladies. I'll be glad to. To my left is Heather. Little and, Heather, I think. Well, exactly. <laughs> uh, the other one was Heather. I don't want to call her Big Heather, but uh, this is Little Heather. <laughs> and again, um, a patient of mine. Oh, I, really? I treated, and um, believe it or not, she wanted to work for me very badly. I'm not sure why. It must have been a good experience. <laughs> exactly. <It really> <laughs> and we hired her, and she just has taken off probably as quick on the uptake as anyone we've ever hired. And that my, 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 my litmus test is when I will let them treat adults. Uh -huh. Children roll with the punches, yeah. right? But adults, adults. yeah. Mm -hmm. And when I decide that I'll let them treat adults, they know they've arrived. And, ah. and she is just absolutely great with both. This is Aya. And as we discussed earlier, Aya came through the apprentice program. Uh -huh. Oh, from the high school. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, awesome. and she's been with me ever since. And when she decides to quit working, I'm retiring. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yes. So you got to work for a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. And yeah. everybody has a right hand man or right mm -hmm. hand uh, and lady. She's your right hand she lady. She certainly is. She's multi talented, and um, she does a little bit of everything. And she's. We had personality tests taken. Um, not too long ago and the chair side assistants the other ones are kind of similar and the front desk uh, uh, Heather and I are kind of similar Andy is into her own she's bubbly <laughs> but she was the one that uh, is the calm peacemaker type and that's the way she is her demeanor and she's very good at everything and she's so young and she's so young and I don't expect for these guys to work to, for this to be their job for the rest of their life. So I'm privileged to have them working for me right now. That's and awesome. anyone that comes in, we'll see them every time they come in. That's awesome. And, and it just so you know, each patient that comes and sits down, I always examine them, sure. dictate the treatment, mm -hmm. they do it, and then I come back and check them before mm -hmm. they go. And, and they know that occasionally I'll sit down and do some of the work myself, which of course slows things up, but <laughs> <coughs> I do like to get involved. That's great. That's great. And if she'll smile, and she'll smile, you can see a little bit of my <laughs> handiwork, right? I need to keep my mouth shut. No, I you're... probably should have had. <laughs> but you know, in my day, you did, I mean, I was lucky I got a dentist. Yeah. No, it, it, that's that's the case. I, I mean, I've got a funny story if I've got time. Go ahead. Tell <clears> a funny story. Okay. I needed braces and I needed teeth removed. Uh huh. Two teeth, and my father worked for the phone company and he had heard that they were getting dental insurance. So he delayed my treatment until the insurance plan came in. Mm -hmm. And once he got the insurance, we proceeded with treatment to extract two teeth. He had to pay $8 in extraction. Oh my gosh. And the insurance paid back four. He waited a year to save $8. So I know where you're coming from. <laughs> when I was a kid, things yeah. were a little tighter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he got them on me. Well, that's awesome. Eight dollars. Hey, that's what he said. I'm not even going to ask what you did was. <laughs> I'm sure it was before I was even born. Yeah. <laughs> so, Aya, tell me what you do. Well, on a daily basis, I work with patients, um, inventory, make sure we have braces to put on patients, make sure we have everything in the office, uh, make sure the lab is ready to go, we have all of our retainers done and ready, and Pretty much the same thing every so day. So you have a lab on premises and you make your mm -hmm. retainers there, you don't have to send out? We do both. We make both. some in-house mm -hmm. and we send some out. Okay. Is there a distinction, something that tells you send out or stay here? Uh, well, the ones that the, the kids like, the multicolored acrylics, mm -hmm. the fancy mm -hmm. ones, we do have an outside lab make those. Gotcha. The ones that we make are the ones that we need to make quickly. 
And that's the distinction. If we need it now, we make it in-house. If we don't need it now, we send it out. Okay. And it's time consuming to make them, so it's really not a bad deal to send right. them to a lab. Right. And just like we're a specialist, they are, and their work is beautiful. They make, oh, they sure. make nice retainers. I'm sure. But. And so you've got the personnel in the lab, you pay them that he's. No, here. we all do it. We all oh, do you it. all do it? Absolutely. They do everything. They oh, make, wow. They, now, again, you know, I have to watch what I'm saying here because it's it's supervised treatment. They don't do anything okay. independently. Right. Of course not. But she makes x-rays. She's certified x-rays. So is she. Mm -hmm. They make impressions, the molds. Mm -hmm. They're both fine photographers. They actually know how to take good images. <laughs> <laughs> and they can both do lab work. They do the wet lab and the dry lab work, and then they treat patients. And that's... I think that's one of the things that we do. We're kind of a small staff and we do try to cross train. Yeah. Now, both of these guys can also run up, if Andy's out, mm -hmm. for any reason, mm -hmm. and of course it's not very often, but both of these guys can hop up into that seat and take over. They're both computer literate. Far yeah, more, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and, and they can both take calls, they can both act as receptionists, so they're multi-talented. That's awesome. That is awesome. So who wants to tell me about all this stuff, Dr. Alston or Heather or? Andy well, let's or? see. Well, let's see what we have here. Andy set it up for us. Okay. Oh, the first one is Invisalign. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll talk about that and then I'll let them talk. Now, for people who don't know, Invisalign, if you can see these, are almost invisible, hence the mm -hmm. name Invisalign, aligners that move the teeth. And the, the starting process is similar to braces, a very exacting impression is made, and then the rest of it is computerized tooth movement. And myself and an Invisalign orthodontist program the tooth movement, and then it's computerized, for lack of a better word, and then this is made from the computer simulation, and each aligner represents one segment of tooth movement. So the patient will wow. receive 20, 30, 40 aligners, which we dispense two or three at a time, and they change them about every 10 days to two weeks, and each aligner moves the teeth a little bit more. Now, that is fascinating. It is. It's invisible, and when they have them in, the, the, the self-consciousness is gone literally within a day. Yeah, you yeah. can speak, you can talk, you don't know they're there. Now, again, this is cooperation intensive. This mm -hmm. doesn't work unless you wear them. It's a heavy investment for someone who six months later may decide I'm tired of wearing them. Mm -hmm. So you really have to have someone that's not obsessive compulsive, but that helps. <laughs> it helps. And if, if they're willing to wear them, they do a nice job of moving teeth. And of course, you can take them out to brush. The downside is if you don't wear them, they don't move, as right. opposed to braces, which are glued on the teeth, and then I'm in total control. Mm -hmm. Whereas here we're relying on the patient. But how many are selling of those? I mean, how many people are interested in that? Um, I think we probably start a case or two a month now. It used to be hit and miss, but now we're getting we a, a demand. Yeah. Sure. Hey, this is Linda and Dr. Alston and crew. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. How are y'all doing? Good. What's your question? Yeah. Well, my question is about, you know, I've got a daughter and she's been told by our dentist that her teeth are going to need to be straightened up. Okay. And she's heard all those horror stories about braces. Mm -hmm. And it's been a long time since uh, I had them. And so I, I just wanted to know, you know, what's the pain like for a child? Or uh, she's actually a little older teenager. She's about 15. Mm -hmm. So about what's the pain like now for braces? Is she watching now? Is she home that she can watch no, with you? No, she's at no, she's at practice. Oh, okay. Not there. Okay. But, but I'll pass it along. Okay. So. All right. Well, we're going to hang up and let Dr. Alston address that. Thanks for calling. Thank you. Well, we ask the patients all the time, "What was your experience like?" When we have to use little things called rubber separators, the patients usually claim that they're sore for two or three days, and sometimes they're a necessity, sometimes they're not, and we're using them less and less. And that's one of the things patients complain about, and we're addressing that by actually starting to eliminate them. But almost every patient goes through the same thing, and our patients tell us that after every appointment, they have three or four days of soreness. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Tylenol or Advil level uh -huh. soreness, uh -huh. and in fact, the materials, the light wires that we're using, we have some patients come back, and this is no joke, and say, 
I wasn't sure my teeth were moving because they didn't hurt. Ah. Now the process putting them on in the chair mm -hmm. doesn't hurt. We don't have to numb anybody up or put them to sleep. Mm -hmm. It's just a laborious process. It is a little bit tedious for the patient. They have to sit still. And I believe anyone would relate to you that they, they're glad they only have to do that once. Yeah. But it's an hour and a half. It's not painful. They're up, they're gone. And then each month they cycle through that same soreness for three or four days when the braces, as they call them, tightened, mm -hmm. which is really tying the wires or changing the wires. And that's at about a five or six week interval and they go through that soreness. And then in the end, taking the braces off might be a little sore, but we do that literally in about a minute. Really? Yes, we can oh, take wow. the braces off so fast that they really, there's almost no pain. Now in Invisalign, there's hardly any pain at all. So the horror stories usually come from moms and dads and older folks that had treatment in the old days when it did hurt. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, and some folks tend to embellish the worst part of their treatment, but the best thing to do is ask a contemporary or ask one of our patients. Right. Because right. we don't hurt them. That's, right, that's, that's the best right there is another patient. Exactly, yeah. and yeah. you usually get the truth. Well, you know, and then pain is perceptive too. So what is going to hurt me, you're going to say, that didn't bother me at all. Here's no, another call. Absolutely. Let's take that. Hey there, this is Linda, Dr. Austin and crew. How you doing? How you doing? I've been enjoying the show. Thank um, you. I have a question about a, a different kind of pain, the parent's pain. <laughs> um, you know, the, the costs of braces and the technology these days and, you know, how 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 is insurance working with braces nowadays? Because I have two younger kids and so we've been told to also need braces probably, but we're not there yet. Mm -hmm. And I, I haven't even looked at what, is, what does it cost nowadays and what, what are the options? Okay. We'll address that. Thanks. Have a great night. Exactly. Well, <laughs> maybe we need to get Big Heather back yeah, here. Yeah, I think I think she will come up. Linda, don't you dare call me Big Heather. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just kidding. Do you want to switch it? No. The, the question okay. was, how does insurance work and about how much does it cost? And I will tell you, we don't usually tell this over the phone, and the answer is always the same. Everybody's case is different, right. so the fee is sure. different. Sure. But let's go ahead and ballpark it, because you can ask your friends, and you're going to be in the neighborhood of $5,000 plus for an average case. Okay. All right. Now, as Heather said, the thing that we can make a little less painful is that we will give you a two-year interest-free pay free payment plan. Well, that's right. pretty good. And you, can you have to take in, in, into consideration, too, the fee that I quote you with the different options is basically over a four-month period. You have the braces for, no mat for how long you're in them, whether it be 15 months or 24 months, and then it includes your retainers. It includes two years after you're out of braces for retainer checks. So basically that's four years of service. So when you look at it that way, it's, mm -hmm. it's a reasonable and, and price. Insurance is variable. Yes. Insurance, different coverages, and Heather can tell you that some have $1,000, some $2,000, some as much as $2,500 right. lifetime maximum that can be applied to the orthodontics. You have to read your policy because it doesn't apply all the time to people over 18 or adults. Right. But if it is there, then you can use that obviously toward your treatment and it will reduce your monthly payments significantly. And that's why it's beneficial too to bring your child in or children in sooner than later. Right. Because and then you, you say seven? Right. Did you say seven? Seven. seven and then we so keep an eye on until you're ready to get your braces on and better sooner than later because your benefits, most of them do run out between 19 and 20. You have mm -hmm. to have it on there before then. And some people think, oh, well, I got my braces on at 17, um, I'm covered. Well, no, if your insurance cuts off at 18, then they will not pay if you have another year to go on braces. Mm -hmm. So is this through dental insurance, health insurance, both? Dental insurance dental dental only, insurance. No. not your health insurance, okay. just dental. Uh -huh. And can you, if, if you don't have dental insurance with your employer, could, can you purchase that privately and you is that affordable? In, you can look into private plans. I have no idea how, it would, how much it costs. It's something they'd have to look into mm -hmm. um, and obviously ask all the right questions right, as far as right. age and things sure, like that. You sure. don't want to get into something that isn't going to benefit right. or cover your child. Right. But yeah. Okay. Well, we We've had that. We've had patients come in at seven or eight and they know they're going to need braces in two or three years and they have gone out 
and looked. And looked, exactly. Mm -hmm. And I, that just kind of an aside comment, we know braces are expensive. Yes. We think it's a quality service and it's a lifetime. Yes, it's it a is. lifetime benefit. But we also tell the patients, if you think our fees are high, drive about an hour west and go to Raleigh. Oh. Um, yeah. it's a, big it's a, city has a bigger Absolutely. Thing. There are some benefits of living in Rocky Mountain. Uh -huh. So I'm not sure how old this last caller's children are, but remember the number seven, and you might want to bring your children in if they're seven or a little bit older and um, talk to Dr. Alston and his staff and see what, what you need to do. Yeah. So 4511010. There you go. Somebody <laughs> needs to put Heather. Heather. <laughs> Bigger Heather. Not little Heather. Older Heather. No, that doesn't sound good either, I know. Heather. Heather and Courtney Heather. Heather. Heather too. Oh. Yeah, just ask for Heather. They'll figure it out. They'll figure exactly. it out. Oh, and I'll tell you, I can't tell you how many times my daughter has said, Mom, thanks for making the sacrifice and giving me a beautiful smile. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, she really has. Yeah. And a shout out to your granddaughter. You will get your braces off one day. <laughs> Continue to be patient. <laughs> well, she's 15, so she's uh, not patient no. about anything uh, right now. That's she's a, a, a sweet girl, though. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think so, but and I'm not a bit biased either. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, I how long have you been working for Dr. Alston? I am. Oh, just about three years. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You yeah. don't even look like you're old enough to be out of high school. Oh yeah. I'm aging <laughs> myself. Thank you. <laughs> and you you learned everything with mm -hmm. him. Yep, the they office. trained me on the job and they did very well training me and I've ever since then I became efficient in doing the work and I've been able to do the job now. Awesome. Yeah. That's great. And we also send them for their radiograph training. They sure. have to take that course mm -hmm. through the state of North Carolina before they can take radiographs. Yeah, sure. You have to be. Um, now, just like um, in medicine, there's certain um, populations that have various, you know, like some are more prone to diabetes, high blood pressure. Are there some certain orthodontic things that are more for one population or another, or is it just just amount? No, just it, it's the same, and, 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 but okay. again, you have to realize it is genetic. The Very seldom is this an acquired problem. It's genetic. They usually inherit the large teeth, small mouth, or normal sized teeth, large mouth spacing. And you can usually see the bone growth, the underbites, the overbites yeah. along the family line. Yeah, my boys had overbites from their dad. So let's take this <laughs> call. Hey, this is Linda, Dr. Alston, and crew. How are you doing? Yes, I was calling, listening to y'all's uh, thing. Uh -huh. And y'all take Medicaid? At this time, we do not take Medicaid. Oh. All right. We can we can give you a name if you call the office of someone who would. <coughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, okay. Thank you. Uh huh. Thanks for calling. All right. It's time for break number two. So we're going to reroute some of the people over here as well. So it's kind of a fun show because you never know who you're going to see when you <laughs> come back to us. So we'll Which header will it be? That's yeah, right. that's exactly right. So you hang on and we'll be back in just another minute with here's more of Here's Your Good Health. Don't go away. Oh, there's all your names. Oh, no, that wasn't that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Richard Koss, Pharmacy Manager at Almond's Drugstore at the Westridge Shopping Center. Here with my wife, daughters, and my business partner, Brad Hilton, and his wife, Katie. We are delighted to be new business owners living in Rocky Mount and are excited about the new services and products we are adding at Almond's Drugstore's two locations. With a full-service pharmacy, a large supply of over-the-counter supplements, and a comprehensive line of diabetic supplies, Almond's has you covered. Our pharmacists also specialize in consultations. We want you to pay the lowest prices and get the best service in town, and our staff works hard to help you save money, but we are also big on friendliness and customer care. We will deliver your prescriptions free, have drive through windows, and guarantee short wait times. And we come out to greet you personally and see how we can answer all of your questions. Because as local business owners, we care about you. As a loyal member of your community for over 70 years, you can count on Almond's Drugs to make the health of you and your family our top priority. Please call Almond's Drugs. 443-3138.
At Downey's Hearing Care Associates, we are dedicated to taking care of every client by providing personal, high-quality hearing care services. My staff and I know hearing loss affects each person and their loved ones differently, so we give you the time and the care you need to ensure the hearing technology chosen fits your lifestyle. At Downey's Hearing Care, we also make custom ear molds and specialize in emergency hearing aid repairs. Down East Hearing Care Associates has two locations, one in Nightdale and one in Rocky Mount. We have hearing lives to save. You don't have to live with the pain and discomfort of carpal tunnel. Dr. Bloom and his orthopedic team can diagnose and treat you with a non-invasive surgical procedure that reduces recovery time. Randy Stewart is here for free carpal tunnel screenings to help you better understand the problems you may be having and how Dr. Bloom can help you. We are your family's orthopedic doctor and we can see you today. Call to set up your free screening at 937-2663 Bloom Orthopedic Center at 3101 Zebulon Road in Rocky Mount. Howdy, welcome back. This is Here's to Your Good Health. My name is Linda Prezioso. I'm a nurse practitioner at Rocky Mount Family Medical. And this is, this is a, another form of health that I'm very excited to have on our show, which is orthodontics. And we've talked a little bit about dentistry, but um, Dr. Alston is a specialist in orthodontics, which is braces. And so we're gonna continue that. You see we've, um, we've kept one and got another one. This is Haven. And so she is a, are you chair side? I'm a treatment coordinator. Treatment coordinator, okay. Oh, ha Haven wears all the hats. Okay. She is the classic example of cross training. She oh. can do everything. Awesome, Absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. All right, so we're gonna finish talking about the different, we got the Invisalign down, and I wanna tell you that when they brought these little props, and I looked at it, I thought, oh, that's the finished product, but no, that was the Invisalign. That's how invisible they are, I couldn't even see it. All right, Haven, so. Haven, if you can pick up the clear ones and the clear colors, and and we'll take the metal ones here. <clears throat> this, the metal ones are still, I would say, the gold standard. I would almost tell you that if any orthodontist could only pick one appliance, it would still be the classic metal braces. Okay. They bond better. The friction between the wire, metal against metal, is less. Teeth move quicker, more efficiently and everything else is an attempt to catch up to this gold standard. Gotcha. This is what we like to use now. The clear braces were introduced as an alternative for people that didn't want the metal mouth look, particularly adults. Which, is that this one? Yes, they're both. Oh, okay. And that is completely clear with clear ties on it. Okay. It, is, it is not invisible like Invisalign, uh -huh. but literally cuts down the metal display to such a point that you might be able to, to go without being seen. Now, these have always been a little less ideal for the orthodontist, but that gap has closed to the point where we feel very confident now offering our patients both and almost now we just say take your pick because these brackets, these braces are as efficient as the metal ones now. The reason we have this is because the colors are so attractive to the kids. Mm -hmm. They want to come in and change the colors and they stand out so well against the clear braces that we're getting a lot of children that are attracted by the clear braces and the colors and it does make it a little more fun, a little more interesting. Uh -huh. And the colors now, look nice. Are, are these more expensive or they're all about the same price? No. They that, all fall into the same? In, in our office right now, it's the same amount. We don't charge a premium for the clear braces. Okay. We used to and we don't because honestly they were more difficult to work with in the past and the cases took a little longer so we felt compelled to pass it on to the patient sure, sure. but now we have clear braces and metal braces they work the same and we basically say take your pick awesome so this palette here that's the different colors you can sure put. Heather will talk a little bit about okay. that right. so when the patients come in once we take their 
colors off that they had on for a month. We show them the, the palette and we ask them what color they want to use. And there's so many colors, a lot of kids get really excited because they first they think that they can just do one color, but then they realize they can do as many colors as you want. Just like the type of daunt that we showed, you can do a rainbow. Mm -hmm. um, and they stay on, and a lot of kids think that it's just for decoration, but what it actually does, the color ties are what hold the wire in place in the bracket. So they're having fun choosing the colors, and it's also working in our favor because it's actually holding the wire in place for us. And kids, kids love it, and adults yeah. too. We yeah. have a lot of adults that choose Do colors. You? Yeah. Do you? So it's it's cool. And they're nice enough that they'll let what that is. they'll let the oh these are the these are the bad guys. We'll get to them in a minute. Oh. Uh, they're nice enough that they'll actually try some colors on. And if the patient doesn't like them, they'll take them off and let them try oh, some on again. These uh, Andy put up here because she wears them. Okay? Ah. <laughs> this is this is basically an attempt for Andy to get a little bit more PR. But these are elastic rubber bands that are placed on the braces by the patient to move the teeth. Oh, okay. They and do that themselves. It is, and and that's where cooperation comes in, because unfortunately, it's not just show up and let us take care of things. And wearing elastics, keeping teeth clean, watching what they eat is so critically important because the braces make the it makes it more difficult to get to the teeth and sure, clean them. Sure. So it's in in a sense they have to do quite a bit of work for a couple of years. The caller was worried about the pain. Well, the more the, the things that we're more concerned about is the health of the dentition while the sure. braces are on. Now sure. we're not insensitive to the patient's discomfort, but the thing that we're always trying to combat is any side effects any damage to the teeth from braces. And really the only one is if they don't brush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and that gets to be a little tough, but. Um, it is, it, yeah. and we show them how to do it. That's mm -hmm. part of the process when they get them on. Mm -hmm. We bring the moms, the dads back, parents back, mm -hmm. and we all go over this together. Yeah. And then every month when they come in, the first thing we check is their hygiene, the very first thing. And if they're not doing well, we re-instruct, or we get the parents involved. Oh boy, mom's paying all that money, boy. She's going to make sure those That's teeth are clean. That's generally the case. Yeah. All right, Haven, so tell us what you do. You wear lots of hats. I do wear lots of hats. <laughs> um, I take care of the new patient experience. Uh -huh. um, and then when they need me in the back, I go back to the back and chair side assist. I'll do a dabble in a little bit of marketing. Um, I do most of the records pictures, x-rays, impressions, um, and wow. anything else he would like me to do, I am, I am there. <laughs> she is, That's she's awesome. again computer literate and those are the mm -hmm. things that I should know but don't. She takes care of our website and our Facebook page, okay. which is for an old guy like me is uh -huh. a new thing yeah. and we like it and our fa patients are starting to be attuned to the fact that we're on Facebook and they're starting to like us and we'd like for you to like us as well. That's right. Absolutely. So tell us about the Facebook and the website. Uh, we just started our Facebook page maybe two months ago so it's fairly new so we're still learning as we go but we try to do new posts with uh, DBN photos of happy patients and their beautiful new smiles <laughs> and then also patients that just got their braces on so it kind of shows the difference between the before and the after so you can get a look good look at that mm -hmm. so but patients seem to love it and if y'all just go in there and like us that would be great that's right <laughs> and then you did the website I did not personally make the oh, website, okay. but I help maintain the website, oh, okay. and that's a lot of fun too because we also put new before and after pictures on the website, and then um, we'll update any little tidbits of info that we need to do, but our website is beautiful. And, it is. It's fun. And I looked it, at it It has today. a brand new video on there with Dr. Austin, so you ought to go ah, on there and watch that also. So see, you're just yeah. used to being in front of the camera. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, the, the one thing I would say about the website is, like most, it's informational, but ours is a little bit different in that you can see actual patients that we treated before and after. If you go on most websites, there's stock photos, and ours are before and afters. You can actually see the patient before and after. And then I want to say something about, uh, we like to post the pictures of the patients on the website, befores and afters, and the happy smiles when they get their braces off. And I'll tell you something, you've had children. Um, I read that the two happiest days in a teenager's life is when they get their driver's license, 
and when they get their braces <laughs> off. And and we're there for half of it. That's right. That's every pretty time. awesome. It is, That's and it's a, awesome. it is a great day. They're they're yeah. thrilled when they get yeah. them off. Yeah, I know they are. <laughs> I know they are. It's awesome. All right. So tell us how we can. Where do we call? Where are you located? We're located at 120 Clinton Court, and that's in Rocky Mount. You can give us a call at the office at 252-451-1010, or you can look at our website. It's www.austinortho.com. And also our new Facebook page, it, you can look us up, is um, Dr. Richard Austin Orthodontics. So you can find us there. Um, and we'd love for you to give us a call. Absolutely. I think they should. Right. And now that these guys are celebrities, you can just That's walk up exactly to them. Right. Exactly right. And you can look on the website. They've all got their pictures there. So I've, I've seen them all before I even got here. So anybody else have a question? we got a couple minutes left. Give us a call, 407-1111. All right, Dr. Olson, what else do you want to tell us? Well, I'm going to be practicing for a little while longer. Good. Okay. I, the best news personally is that I'm engaged and going to be married this spring. Oh, How about congratulations. That? And I'm going to be practicing in the air and I'm going to be hanging around for another five or six years. And she better be watching. So I'll, I'll give a little shout out to Christy. Hey, Christy. And Olivia. And, hey, Olivia. Uh, exactly. <laughs> so that's my big news is uh, I'm not leaving the Rocky Mount area anytime soon. That's good. That's good. We want, we want you to stay. Uh, well, want you, uh, you want me to stay until I finish Phoebe, at least. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Yeah, and all the rest of them are pretty little, so, you know. You Final word, the best thing about working in orthodontics is working with a staff like this. Mm -hmm. It's a team approach, mm -hmm. and when you have a group of ladies that get along, they get yeah. along. Then it's it makes it a wonderful yes. a working environment. Mm -hmm. I do not mind coming to work. I get up in the morning. I go in because I know I'm working with people that enjoy what they're doing mm -hmm. and enjoy each other. Mm -hmm. And it it's a fun place for me to be. And I think patients as well. Well, and you know when you've got that kind of um, office, people want to come. Yes, you know, we, we I work at uh, Rocky Mount Family Medical, and we have a lot of people that say it's such a nice office. People are so nice, you know, and we have very little too, too, you know, women can get to be a little Arr. Well, <laughs> I, if, if you walk in the front desk and you meet a nicer person than Andy, I want you to call me and let me know where okay. she is. Okay. All right. All right. Girls, do you want to come back up and have anything else you want to say? I know Andy's got something she wants to say. <laughs> yeah, come on up, Andy. <laughs> This is your chance to sing and dance. This, this, that's right. This is your <laughs> like chance to, to sell your your practice, Dr. Olson's practice. I won't sing and dance, but I was, I'm a patient, and I truly enjoy getting in the back, getting in the chair, letting them work on me, and I'm this result I'm having is amazing. So thank you all very much. Oh, okay. All right. Anybody else? Heather? It is a nice place to work. The thing is, everyone, it's a team effort with everybody, mm -hmm. and I think that's what he tries to promote, is that everyone get along, everyone stay on the same page, we stay on time, and it's really nice to, to work with girls who are experienced, and right. if I ever have questions, you know, or I need help with something, they're always there to help, you know, mm -hmm. so it's, it's a really nice environment, and I feel like the patients know that we try to be personable with them, mm -hmm. take personal interest in them, ask how school's going, mm -hmm. how their dog's doing, yeah. you know, and I feel like that's what makes the practice right. a good place, yeah. and, and a welcoming place, yeah. so it's... It's really nice. People want to be treated. They want oh, yeah. to be special. Yeah. And it's sincere. I mean, Heather's sincere. She asks the question because she I really wants to it. know and ends up the, in, a, in a conversation sometimes. Uh -huh. We need to go in and get the work done. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, well, and you all are young enough that you can still relate to the kids. And, you know, they can. It's fun. The patients yeah. are a lot of fun. Are they? they are. Yeah. That's great. All right. Well, give us the information again. Uh, give us a call, 252-451-1010 to schedule a new patient consult. Or um, look us up online, Dr. Richard Austin's Orthodontic Office on Facebook or www.austinortho.com. And, and we do have one staff member that's not here tonight, yeah, so we'll, Ann, if you're watching, yeah, we have to shout out we'll to see Ann. you in the morning. Yeah. All right, see y'all. Dr. Alston is going to be coming back in October with a very exciting new product and new service that he's going to be giving, and I, I personally can't wait because I'm going to be able to use it as well in my practice. So that will make you, make you be sure that you watch and 
come back again and watch more of Here's Sugar Dell. This is Dr. Alston and his crew, and we're so glad you came with us. We want you to come back. It's exciting. We will. We've had fun. Any, any other? We got like 30 seconds. Anybody have anything else they want to say? Come on, you got something you can say. You told me you could talk for an hour. Well, yeah. Come see us. Yeah, exactly. I'd say come see us. And um, we just had a little consultant vis uh, visit, and she gave us pretty high praise on being a patient-centered practice. Oh, that's awesome. And I know you've been in offices where the doctor may be a prima donna or the staff seems to be more concerned about what they're having for lunch. Yes. Our office is basically a patient-centered office. If you come awesome. in, we're going to do everything we can for the patient. Perfect. And on that note, we're going to say good night. Dr. Alston, we'll see you in a few weeks with Thank your you, brand new news. I'm so excited. I'll be back in October. And we'll be back next week with more Pierce Your Good Health. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.